Hello everyone. I am so glad to see you today. My name is Miss Susan and I am so glad you are here. High fives, big hugs for all of you. I call you my special Bible buddies because today we're going to have a wonderful story about God's love. But before we do that, friends, I think we should stand up and we should worship God by praising and singing a song with him. So everybody up and get ready to sing together. God was so happy to hear all those wonderful praises that you use your voices to sing to him. But now it's time to get ready to sit down and get ready for our big idea for today. So remember our little song that goes with Toe for the Gopher. Let's say it together. Toe for the Gopher. One, two, three. Digs a hole right under me. Slowly I start sinking down till I'm sitting on the ground. Yay! That was great. Boys and girls, I am so glad you're here because I really need your help today. Our Bible story pictures are missing and I think I know who took them. I'll give you a little hint. He's a little furry rascal with two big front teeth. That's right. I think Topher the Gopher took those pictures. In just a little bit, we're going to need to search for those missing pictures so we can tell our Bible story. Boys and girls, our true Bible story today is going to teach us that I can praise God with music. Yes, that's our big idea. I want you to say it with me. I can praise God with music. I heard you saying it, but let's do it one more time. This is our big idea. I can praise God with music. It's true, boys and girls. And in fact, our Bible verse for today is all about this, praising God with music. Let me teach you our Bible verse. It goes like this. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Psalm 95, 1. That's it. That's our Bible verse. Now I want you to do it with me one more time. Come, let's sing for joy to the Lord. Psalm 95, 1. Wow, that was a nice job. I think you're ready for the Bible story. But before we get started today, let's listen to Topher the Gopher, that little guy that's gone and taken our Bible story pictures. 
He wants to review our story time rules. So let's listen now to Topher the Gopher talk about our rules. Hello, children. My name is Topher the Gopher, and I'm your furry friend. We're going to have so much fun at church today. Before we get started, though, let's go over Topher the Gopher's three story time rules. Let me hear you say rule number one. Rule number one is be kind. You can be kind by staying quiet while your teacher is talking and listening carefully to everything your teacher says. You can also use kind words when you're talking to other people. Let me hear you say rule number two. Rule number two is be safe. You can be safe by sitting down when your teacher tells you to and keeping your hands to yourself. Now let me hear you say rule number three. Rule number three is have fun. If you can follow the first two rules, we're going to have a lot of fun today. I dig it when my friends follow the rules. So let's go for it. <laughs> Bye, kids. I'll see you later. Thank you for listening to Topher. And speaking of Topher, maybe we should start by finding Topher the gopher. Because I know that silly little gopher is hiding around here somewhere. I want you to stay in your seats, down in your gopher holes. But I want you to look around our room and see where he might be hiding. <gasps> Uh-oh, Topher! Where is that silly little Topher hiding? Can you say that with me? Uh-oh, Topher! Where are you? I don't see him anywhere. He took our story pictures and hid them in this room. If we don't find those pictures, we're going to have a lot of trouble telling this story. Let's tell him that again. Come on, Topher. Hi oh, Topher! So what do you think? Maybe we should just look for the story picture since he seems to be hidden very well. If you are ready to find the missing pictures and hear the true Bible story, I need you to clap your hands three times. One, two, three. Great. All right. You know, before we, boys and girls, before we start the Bible story, we always need to get our Bible out. So we're going to look right over here to the super duper Bible box, and we're going to see our Bible right inside. And we know those special words, don't we? If we say those special words, we can get the Bible out. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Say it with me, friends. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. So we can go right over here and because you said those special words, the Bible box, the super duper Bible box lifts right off so we can get our Bible for our Bible story. And we're going to put it right here with Teddy. Boys and girls, I think it's time now for us to find our first missing picture. Look around and see if you can find a picture of a building. Now this building looks a little like a castle. Do you see anything back here that might remind you of a castle or a building? Let's look. You want me to look over here? Or did you say look over here? Oh, right here. This is where you want me to look. Okay, let's look here and see if this is it. You are just so right. Look at this picture. Boys and girls, in the Bible, in the book of 2 Chronicles, King Solomon gave orders to build a temple. A temple is like a beautiful house for God. All right, now we can put this picture down. We found that one. Let's see if we can find our next picture. This time, I want you to see if you can find a picture of some worker men. Look around our room. See if you see any men at work. You don't want me to look over here? No. Oh, over here? 
Yeah, look right here. You found it. Here it is. Here are the worker men. Look at this picture, boys and girls. King Solomon chose some workers to help him build the temple. There were more than 150,000 workers. That's a lot of workers. The workers carried things. So you know what? Let's pretend that we can carry things too. Sometimes things that we carry are heavy, so we have to really get those muscles and pick them up and see if we can move them. I see those muscles working. And sometimes we need a hammer. Get out your hammers and we might need to hammer something. Watch your thumbs. Don't hit your thumbs. And sometimes we might need to get out our saw because the workers had to saw things. So we saw and push and pull and push and pull. And they did a great job sawing. Just like you. Mm, you are some good workers. Great job. Well, I think it's time to look for the next picture. Look around our room again. This time, I want you to see if you can find a picture of some gold coins. You know, money. Where do we think the gold coins? Where do you think that Topher hid that picture? Over here on the glass. So this is where you want me to look. You have a much better view than I do. Let's see. I see something gold. Boys and girls, you are exactly right. Here is where Topher hid another picture. Look, there are gold coins. When the temple was put together, boys and girls, King Solomon covered the inside of the temple with gold. The walls were covered with gold. The ceiling was covered with gold. The doors were covered in gold. And there were beautiful jewels decorating everything in the temple. It was the most amazing temple built for the most amazing God. All right, we can put this in our stack. Now let's look out for another picture. This time, when you find the picture, you're going to find and look for a gold box. And on that gold box, there are going to be some angels. Where do you think that picture could be? Is it over here? Oh, up here with the paint cans? You're right. I see something that looks like a box. There it is. Look at this beautiful picture, boys and girls. When the temple was decorated, Solomon had a very special box put inside the temple. This box was called the Ark of the Covenant. Can you say that? The Ark of the Covenant. One more time. The Ark of the Covenant. Now, the Ark of the Covenant is where God's most very special belongings were kept. You know, belongings, those things that are very special to you. They were kept in this beautiful gold box. All right, put this one down. And now it's time to find the very last picture. Does anyone see that last picture hiding around here? Oh, right here? Yes. This is a picture of a trumpet. Here it is. This is the trumpet. When everything was finished about the temple, the people of Israel gathered for a big celebration. The people played the instruments just for God. They praised him with trumpets and cymbals and harps. And then they sang out to God, The Lord is good. His faithful love continues forever. That's what they sang and praised him with. I have a great idea. Maybe we could sing just like the people of Israel did. Maybe we could sing for joy and praise the Lord. Boys and girls, in our Bible story today, our true Bible story, the people of Israel built a beautiful house for God. And when they were finished, they praised God with musical instruments and they sang something like this maybe. The Lord is good and his love continues forever. Hey, I've got an idea. We can praise God with our musical instruments too. Did you know that your hands are like musical instruments? They are. We can clap for God three times and sing and say some of these little phrases together. So we're going to go like this. 
and we're clapping for God. And we're going to say, the Lord is good. Let's do it together. The Lord is good. Now you say it. Yes. His faithful love continues forever. Now you say it. Great job. Let's do it one more time, except this time, let's give God five claps. The Lord is good. Your turn. His faithful loves continues forever. Your turn. Good job, boys and girls. God is so, so good, and his love for us never, ever ends. And because of that, we can praise God with music. Hey, that's our big idea today. You know, I love for you to tell your parents, and but it's always important for us to practice first. And you know, every week we have to think of someone we can practice with. And there's always our friend Topher somewhere around here. You know, I love to see if we can get him to listen to our big idea. So let's get ready. Let's see if we can find him. Uh oh. It looks like Topher is asleep again. I think we should wake him up. You know, we can, we can say, wake up, Topher, wake up. And then when he gets up, we can tell him the big idea. All right, come on, let's see if we can get him to wake up on the count of three. Topher! Topher the gopher, wake up! Is he waking up? Here he comes. Hey, what's the big idea? Did you hear what Topher said? He wants us, you and me, to tell him the big idea. We can do that, can't we, boys and girls? Come on, let's tell him. I can praise God with music. One more time, boys and girls. I can praise God with music. Oh, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye. I think he's got it. He's waving goodbye and telling us, See you another time. Let's wave goodbye to Topher. Goodbye, Topher. You've got that big idea, boys and girls, and you can tell others. I can praise God with music. Boys and girls, before we say goodbye to one another today, I'd love for us to have time to pray, to thank God for all of his love and the way he's so good to us, so, so good to us. So let's say our prayer together. I'll say it. And then I'll point to you and let you say it, okay? So let's think about God now as we pray to him. Dear God, there is no one like you. You are so, so good. Your love for me never stops. And I praise you for loving me. And all God's children said, Amen. Wow. Boys and girls, I know that God loves us so very much. And I am so glad that we were here together to tell the Bible story. And until we meet next Sunday, we'll say goodbye for now. Goodbye, friends. See you soon.